As the farm to table movement increases in popularity, more and more people are interested about where their food comes from. That idea has led to the great debate of genetically modified organisms, or GMOs as they're commonly referred. If you search the hashtag GMO on social media, you'll see that it's one of the most polarizing topics of discussion. Some counties and states have even banned production of GMO crops. So what exactly is a GMO? And what's all this hysteria really about? This week I'll share the first of a two-part Ag Minute to answer your questions about this hot topic. The big bad GMO debate is everywhere you click online. On one side, agricultural business experts say that genetically modified crops are necessary to feed our growing population. But across the table, environmental advocates say these crops are poisoning our food supply and they want to boycott seed companies like Monsanto. But what does GMO really mean? And is there truly a cause for concern? GMO stands for Genetically Modified Organism, and it's a seed or a plant whose DNA has been altered in some way. Seed companies engineer genetically modified seed varieties that resist harmful pests and fungi, and also to produce more yields with fewer resources. Opponents of GMOs worry that these modifications could have negative effects on their health. And thanks to much of the anti-GMO propaganda, many consumers are confused about which crops are actually modified. This ad is a prime example. Strawberries are not genetically modified. Neither are tomatoes, seedless watermelon, or any of these other foods. In the United States, only eight crops are produced commercially from GMO seeds. Cotton, canola beans, papaya, sugar beets, squash, alfalfa grass, and both corn and soybeans that are used for livestock feed. The bottom line is consumers must read through the propaganda and do their own research to educate themselves on the true facts about GMOs. The GMO debate extends far beyond what we could cover in just one minute. Be sure to tune in next week where I'll answer some of the most common questions about GMOs. And if you have a specific question you want answered, just post it to our Facebook or our Twitter page with the hashtag GMO question. And you can always visit our website at twilatv.org to submit your question or find some great resources about this issue. Well, moving on to something a little more fun, Twyla Trivia. Last week I asked you which historical disaster was once blamed on a cow? And the answer is B, the Great Chicago Fire of 1871. And legend has it that the O'Leary family barn caught fire after a cow knocked over the barn lantern. Drought conditions caused the fire to rage out of control and it spread across the city. Well, moving on to this week's Twilight Trivia, which of the following countries has a complete ban on genetically modified food products? Is it A, Sri Lanka, B, Japan, or C, Egypt? To enter this week's Twilight Trivia Contest, all you need to do is log on to your Facebook or Twitter account and post your answer with the hashtag Twilight Trivia. Or you can always submit your answer on our website at twilighttv.org. Still to come on this week in Louisiana agriculture, what's the bottom line when it comes to being in a weather market? Heck, what is a weather market anyway? Neil Malasson will tell us next. Stay with us.